Hello friends. Today we shall speak about the consolidation of medium size business organization which is on growth path and wants to achieve higher position and to reach the large organization in next couple of years. They are these medium size company is doing pretty well and they are growing and uh, markets are good everything is good but they are not able to find time to consolidate their activities the the various functions of various departments and possibly they are losing some opportunities possibly there is a lot of wastage which they have not realized because nobody looks at doesn't look at the uh, actual working of each of the important departments so uh, in such situation when the times are good the business is growing and the organization the owners the people working are not able to find time to review or conduct a scrutiny and consolidate the activities of the department the best solution would be to hire an expert agency a uh, professionals who are able to consolidate who are able to critically look at the working of the organization from outside they will have a better idea how the organization works so in such cases they should hire a, a, a agency which is uh, capable of taking up the such assignment having done that uh, they should uh, start process of most important departments like hr department sales department procurement department logistics department and of course finance department these are the core departments which are required to run the organization and their perfection their efficiency only can bring growth and avoid wastage and become more productive so let me go one by one take a department of human resources human resources department becomes very important because it relates to the people who are working in the organization if there are no people the organization is not able to work because the organization is already grown beyond small scale it has gone to medium scale so here are the people who become more important than only owners or only one or two managers so let's go with the human resources department the hr manager who is in charge of the hr functions along with his team is required to do some important functions which required scrutiny i'll start with first important function of hr manager and team is to have continuous dialogue with the people who are working at a different levels could be staff could be um, a supervisor a manager a general manager a vice president of the company it's important that each employee each manager should understand and realize the expectation of the owners and vis-a-vis 
and the management to get to know what expectations the people are looking for what kind of a, uh, what could make, motivate them to give a better results now there are uh, employees who are fully engaged fully committed there is a category which is engaged but not committed another category is not engaged and not committed so these type of um, employees required to be looked into and this all will be done periodically because people motivation levels change from time to time they don't remain same because the circumstances the environments the expectations the frustrations they change so hr most important function is to be in touch continuously with the people and it if they find the ways and means to motivate is good and if they think that there are some people who are not committed who are not engaged they can be removed from the organization to avoid any further uh, slowing out the growth once they are out of the company i think they can replacement could be better the second important function of human resources department is of job description each employee at different levels and all levels need to have job description in place this job description has to be examined critically it requires consultation with the divisional heads departmental heads and thereafter the job description has to be prepared and the employee has to agree and the department head has to consent give a consent and the document has to be prepared the job description also requires a review from time to time because the company grows the functions change the role changes some people are promoted some people are demoted some people are removed so the job description also requires revisions so this is again called a consolidation the third most important function of hr department is recruitment recruitment should not be on ad hoc basis should be an ongoing exercise and the hr managers has to judge the requirement of people from each of the department and should start looking for the such type of skill people approaching a good employment agencies through uh, newspapers through uh, tv to so many other medias are there which you can look for the people and uh, do this, uh, do the selection the other thing which is part of recruitment function is the interview system interview method to be should be in place because conducting an interview is also an art so you need to have right people to interview a different type of categories of the uh, staff you know so that that format has to be created the uh, the the interview norms have to be created and again it has to be on the regular basis so this is overall the functions of the hr department these are important functions i am not going into the details now let's come to sales department sales department very important it's a backbone of the company 
no sales, no business. Today the sales of the company is good. They are doing well. But they could do better if the consolidation is done on a regular basis. So how do the sales head, the chief of the sales department, goes about? He take all the regional heads into confidence, the owners into the confidence, and prepare a plan, a five years plan, a three years plan, and make a judgment, keeping into consideration the product mix, the market mix, the existing customers, the potential customers. So the plan requires to be made for the year. Now, depending upon the volumes the company wants to do, depending upon the profitability they want to make, because profitability is equally important, or rather it is most important when you make the sales plan. Because the volumes could be large, but if it doesn't give you enough margins, it doesn't make much of sense. So the profitability, suppose that there's a 3 to 4% profitability, but you want to, the management, the owners, are expecting a profitability of 10%, 15%, 20%. <laughs> so the sales team has to, with the consultation with the owners and deliberations with the regional heads, have to prepare a plan keeping in mind the profits. So once having done that, the, the document has to be prepared. And according to the targets, according to the plan, the sales department chief has to uh, have the right people and have right people at a different levels to deliver and to ensure the sales are met with every month, every quarter, every six months, every year. Now it's not easy to achieve these sales targets without the procurement department. So I'll talk about procurement department. Procurement department is again very important because if they are not able to supply vis-a-vis the sales which are to be achieved, the sales orders which are procured, then possibly the, the company can't reach those levels which are expected. So procure department has to have an excellent knowledge of evaluating vendors, selection of vendors is very important. So a lot of scrutiny is required to be done for the existing uh, vendors as well as the vendors which are proposed to be appointed. There are a lot of competition, so you need to have a best of the people. So if you have good principles, if you have loyal principles, of course you have to be also loyal, the company has to be also loyal. Then it becomes easier to, to achieve those sales. And this is very important to have a good, dependable, reliable vendors, especially for a trading company, which have the network world over or maybe in the country for distribution sales. Again, the procurement head has to get into that, prepare the plan and submit to the management for uh, approval and keeping in mind the, the work involved, uh, he has or she has to select the people within the organization available as well as the people which are required to achieve this particular plan. You know. Let me move on to logistics. Logistics 
my God, logistics is too dicey because the, there are so many outside outside uh, people who are involved. The the warehousing, the transportation, the shipping, the clearing agents. It's not so simple. So the gentleman who's heading the logistics department has to be expert. He has to be skilled. He has to have a very good knowledge of all these sub functions and where these facilities are required to be created to ensure that um, uh, these procurement and sales plans are executed well in time and in order you know. so again the it, same thing applies that it requires regular scrutiny it requires consolidation last but not least is finance department finance department is very important no finance no business no sales no procurement the finance head has to be damn sharp and very, very strict. And he has to generate with the taking into confidence the management and the sales team and the procurement team to prepare a plan to create resources to achieve these targets. Now, how does he do that? He looks at the internal resources available. He looks at the bank loans. He explores the possibility of raising funds from the market, from the shareholders from the owners and also ensure that the lease credit is given to uh, customers and longer credits to obtain from the vendors. Uh, so he has to overview the even the credit system which is very important because if credit system is not controlled properly, uh, there could be a disaster. Friends, I finished my talk about the consolidation of a medium-sized organization which is doing good business today and they want to grow. I would suggest all of you to go back, try to use these methods and in case you need any more information, any guidance, I'll be too happy to give it to you. Write to me on the comments and you will get response very fast. Thank you so much.